What's good? What's up, Messy Mob? It's your girl, Messy Maya, and I am back again with another video. So today, we're going to be getting into some mess concerning the Baddies Caribbean audition. Girl, there is a lot to unpack, so I just want to go ahead and get started. Girl, like, girl, it, it, it's a mess, okay? It is a mess. I am ready to get into it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on that post notification bell so you know every single time I post a new video. It's Messy Maya. It's the Messy Mob. We are lit over here. Trust and believe that, and yeah, let's get into the mess. an audition event basically for their baddie series baby every single season right before the season now me my opinion like of course it's exploitation but to them it is going to be content baby they are going to milk it child okay they are all right so that is besides the point so a lot of people feel like the judge panel really makes the show like you know what i'm saying like the judges set the tone for the show so let's go ahead and see who the judges are going to be for baddies caribbean auditions child let's let's just get into it all right so let's go ahead and get into the pre-screen judges of the baddies caribbean auditions so first we have testiki honestly this does not surprise me at all me personally it is very 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 obvious that she is going to be on the new season it is girl it is painfully obvious that she's going to be on the next season which i also like it's just like uh you know what i'm saying like yes we keep saying that we want new girls clearly zeus is not going to listen to us baby they're going to keep bringing back the same girls so I honestly don't know what to say about this. Like, I really don't. I just hope she's not boring, child. You know what I'm saying? Because, girl, on uh, Baddies East, it gave fly on the wall, okay? It gave watching grass grow. It was it was just boring whenever Testiki was on my screen unless it had something to do with drama, child. That's the only time where she develops a personality, girl, okay? So... I mean, hopefully, you know, that personality comes out a little bit more. Me personally, I feel like um, it's the same thing with Scotty as well. I feel like Scotty only has personality at the auditions. It's crazy. Like, have y'all noticed that? Like, Scotty has a lot of person, but I feel like she do that to try to put on for the for the girls. You know what I'm saying? Because clearly sh she's like, not an authority figure, but but they're looking up to her. She's one of the judges. So I feel like she she don't come with that boring shit when, when it comes to the auditions. So hopefully, Siki takes takes a page out of Scotty's book, child. When I tell y'all, Scotty is is more um interesting on the auditions than she ever will be on a show. I am not exaggerating, baby. Okay, at all, child. You know, Scotty got all the personality and all the mouth and all the boldness in the world, child. When it comes to the auditions, girl. So that's how I feel about Scotty. Um, as well, we already know that Scotty is gonna be a, a be a part of everything, baby. She is cracking that look, girl. She is cracking that look, cootie cat open, child. Okay. Her spot is secure. So, no, I am not surprised at all. <laughs> when it comes to Scotty, when it comes to anything, girl, Scotty is going to be on everything. Scotty is going to be everywhere, child, okay? All right, so we have Mariah Lynn. Honestly, Mariah Lynn, baby, you really could have sat this one out, child. Like, I'm not even going to lie, girl. You really could have sat this one out. Like, because, I, I, child, I, I just don't get it. I don't get it. I, I, I don't understand. And, and I know she's going to be on a new season, too. She also confirmed that as well come in Caribbean and um, y'all can expect to see me on there the promo drop I know Suki's on there I can't give away a couple of other girls but um y'all know I'm not coming back without you know my Hulk <laughs> <laughs> chow I, I don't know girl um I, I like I, I don't really chow Girl, all I'm going to say is that Mariah Lynn could have stayed her little ass home, child. Okay, that's all I'm going to say when it comes to that, especially when it comes to Baddies Caribbean. I just feel like she don't need to be on there. Like, you don't. <laughs> Girl, you don't need to be on. Oh, my goodness. Anyways, so um, who else, child? Anna Mac is a judge. Honestly, I don't mind to see her as a judge. I know I'd be getting on the Mac chat because I'm not going to lie. That little girl get on my nerves, girl. But she does have personality. I will not take that away from her. So hopefully, I feel like it could be a good thing or a bad thing. Like, she could be doing too much. Or she could just be, you know, she could be that little comedic relief and just be herself and all that stuff. All that in a bag of chips. 
All right, and last but not least, we have Sapphire Blaze, girl, Suki Hana's best friend, girl. Y'all know that's her only personality trait, child. I am not going to front. Sapphire really could have stayed home. Like, I'm not even gonna lie, girl. You really could have stayed home because I'm not gonna lie. When I see this, it just reminds me how you did Suki. Like, it just reminds me that you went throughout Baddies East, okay, with House A, and you and you basically chose House A over your own best friend because you wanted to secure a spot on the show. And this just further proves my point okay so so when i look at you on this panel all i'm gonna think about is what you is what you did on baddies east to get there so i'm not gonna girl goodbye goodbye girl no ma'am no ham no turkey girl you really could have stayed home girl come on i hope i'm not gonna lie i hope one of them contestants clock your tea i really do i hope they do girl i hope they clock your tea chow because how you gonna sit up there on a panel and look down on me and, and tell me how to be a baddie and, and basically determine whether I, I go to the next round or not and determine whether I'm a baddie or not and you can't even handle your business. Oh, okay, yeah, let your best friend get backed up against the wall. Let your best friend get a drink thrown on her chair. I'm not going to play with you, girl. You should not be there. No shade. And, of course, the hosts of the auditions include Janisha. We already know, child, that, that oh, baby, that spot is secure. We already know. Okay, um, Bobby Lights, which I feel like is a really good choice, and Nene Leakes, which still is very random to me. I still am, like, kind of shook that she's even has anything to do with this network. But, you know, child, okay, everybody got to get their coin. All right, so then we have the main stage judges, which consist of Spice. Girl, I feel like this is such a good idea. I mean, why would you not have Spice as a judge for baddies? You know what I'm saying? I mean, it really gives a little bit that she don't know. I don't know. I don't really take Spice to really watch something like this. Like, we, <laughs> But I don't know, child, but I feel like it makes a lot of sense. Child, so we all know by now that Mariah Lynn, Sapphire, and Suki Hana may smiley come up off that chain. Child, okay, and clearly, since then, Mariah Lynn still got the chain, child, okay? She still got the uh, chain. Smiley still ain't get her chain back till this day, okay? So, since the auditions were announced, she made it clear that Mariah Lynn don't need to come to Miami because she already know what's gonna happen because she still got her chain. She still want her chain, child. She just don't want Mariah Lynn in Miami. Y'all know that smiley claims Miami, child, okay? So, so she basically banned Mariah Lynn from Miami. Uh, I don't know what type of authority she thinks she got, but that's what she did, child. So clearly, once she found out that Mariah Lynn was going to be, you know, you know, clearly you don't got uh, enough authority, child, because the girl came to Miami and she came there comfortably, girl. Okay, she came there comfortably. She was in Miami. She was the judge. And once Smiley found out about this girl, she was not happy, girl. She said, we're going to see what's going to happen. And she basically tried to imply that, you know, it was up. It's up and it's stuck, baby. It's stuck and it's up and up and it's stuck, girl. So Big Back Mountain, Big Back Smelly Smiley Baby, she stood outside of the auditions waiting for Mariah Lynn. Honestly, uh, Smiley is just a weirdo to me. Like, I honestly don't know what else to say about it. Like, girl, you are just weird. Like, it's really hard to, like, feel sorry for you in certain situations when you just keep putting yourself in that position. Like, it, it's just, like, like, girl, like, you're not going to get your chain back. Like, you're not going to get your chain back. If you really wanted it back, girl, you should have got it back at the reunion and multiple times after or, or whatever when you see mariah lynn but it's like why are you still trying to rank girl you are just a big clout monster girl i really just cannot I, I just cannot with smiley girl i really cannot so child again she shows up to the auditions looking for mariah lynn about that chain hi the hoe i'm outside what time you on i'm right here hoe you running in the motherfucking gate like listen you scary bitch. you a scary ass hoe bitch i told you you in my city and i'm waiting for you bitch. Come outside. I want to play. Oh, brother. <laughs> Smiley, you are a clown, girl. You did not have this much mouth in the house, girl. You did not have this much mouth in the house. Girl, like, I'm not going to play with you, Smiley. Goodbye. And clearly, Natalie is done with the antics and, the, and this tired storyline as well. I mean, I heard Smiley's pulling up. I'm not even story producing, but if they want to get to the bottom of the uh, chain, they can do it in the parking lot because we're on to the next season and I'm not dealing with it no more. Okay? They can do whatever they want to do, but it ain't got nothing to do with Natalie Nunn and, and the baddies Caribbean. Um. Next! 
So Miss Wet Wet never dry because she stay wet, girl. From Joss's Cabaret Chow, she went to the auditions for Baddies Caribbean and she got into it with Slim. That's weird. I I, I guarantee you that Wet Wet is the one that initiated that entire thing. <laughs> that girl Wet Wet is a troublemaker, child. One thing Wet Wet is gonna do, girl. Wet Wet is a big cloud monster, child. Girl, Wet Wet is gonna child. Wet Wet is gonna do it for the cloud, child. Okay, so girl. Like, like, and the gag is that both of y'all got into it, made this big, uh, basically big commotion at the auditions, and not now one of y'all is gonna get picked. And Slim, no shade, no shade, no shade, all T, girl, you showing up and, and being a girl, it's, it's pathetic, girl. It's real pathetic. Real pathetic, child. So speaking of wet, wet child, she got a ticket, baby. She got a ticket. She got a ticket. She got a ticket, meaning that she is going to be considered to be a cast member on Baddies Caribbean season five. Allegedly. I'm only saying allegedly because child, we just don't know at this point, girl. I feel like they give out hella tickets. Okay. And don't net net, don't, girl, don't know. Child boo. Okay. Y'all know what I'm about to say. Anyways. So Daisy also went from Justin's Cabaret season one and Justin's Cabaret season four. And she also got a ticket. All right. No shade. If Daisy knew how to fight a little better, I would definitely consider her to be a part of, um, cause you know, she, she, she gives baddie, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it's like, girl, you really can't dance anyway. So it's not like, <laughs> like you were ever a good fit for Justin's Cabaret. You were only on there. No shade because you and Jocelyn knew each other prior to the show, but it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like you're like, she's cute she's very pretty she I, honestly very you know feminine uh you know i i love that for her you know but i would say you know she just need to learn how to fight child she don't know how to she don't know how to get down girl she girl you done got got your face split girl <laughs> you know what i'm saying girl you need to learn how to do a little better but she do know how to read the girls down so this might be an unpopular opinion, but I feel like Amber Ali should be on Baddies. I honestly wouldn't mind her to be on Baddies. I feel like she is the perfect fit for Baddies. Honestly, the type of show that Baddies is, and now that I'm starting to see what they really want from Baddies. Oh, by the way, before I get to my opinion, child, Amber Ali also got a ticket. Amber Ali is, a, of course, from the um, Las Vegas season, girl. She was punking the girls up and down, okay, until she got punked by Jocelyn, came back to the reunion, and, you know, drop, drop Jocelyn on that ad drop you know what i'm saying so yeah so you know she went through a couple stages throughout Justin's cabaret so this is my thing okay and again this might be an unpopular opinion don't get me wrong during the duration of the las vegas season of Justin's cabaret i'm not gonna lie miss amber ali got on my nerves okay she did because she did too much to me. I felt like she, she just did too much when she came for wet wet it was too much when she came for chanel it was too much but but, okay, with the exception of Jocelyn, because her and Jocelyn were actually cool, um, she, she stood up to everybody, child. And then even at the reunion, she stood up to Jocelyn as well. So I feel like when it comes to, like, standing up, I feel like it's not going to be an issue. And she don't give me lap dog. She don't. She does not give me lap dog. And I feel like that's really the girls that we need. Like, girls that are not going to be lap dogs. Girls that are not going to be quiet. You know what I'm saying? Um... And yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like she would do good on baddies. I feel like she's cute. You know what I'm saying? She does her little cooking stuff, her little chef stuff. So she is a boss. You know, I don't know. I feel like Amber Ali would be good. Like I said, she did get on my nerves during the season. But I don't know. I feel like baddies would be a better fit for her. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it, though. Again, unpopular opinion, child. Y'all may or may not disagree. Let me know how y'all feel, though. So one thing Scarface is going to do, girl. Scarface is going to run them gums, child. She going to run them gums, girl. She going to run them suckers child and she basically got online got on live and she girl when i tell you she was clowning the jocelyn cabaret girls i ain't gonna lie it was kind of funny just a little bit child yeah she ate that one little thing i'm not gonna lie girl so she was clowning the jocelyn cabaret girls and she had a lot of uh, she had a lot to say girl she basically said like i don't know why y'all even came to the auditions but <laughs> you know your services are not needed you know what i'm saying yeah like, y'all are not gonna make it. Like, if Jocelyn didn't want you, what makes y'all think Natalie wants y'all? She was clowning them, child. And then she also went on to say, basically, how she did not go. She was not gonna go. And that if Zeus wants her to come back, all they gotta do is call. Let's get into the live. You're not making it on baddies. You're not gonna be on baddie, bitch. Hang it up. La da de Y'all not gonna be on baddies. You need bitch Jocelyn Cabaret. <laughs> you bitch. Is not gonna be on baddies, okay? Thank y'all for viral moments. 
I mean, because a lot of them can get their ass wet talking about me anyway. Then I think I remember. I love wet wet though. I love me some wet wet. Why the fuck y'all going all this shit for baddies? Y'all already on Zeus. Y'all not get no baddies. Enjoy that that little ticket y'all got. Because that's the first that you gonna get on that motherfucker. Cheers to that. Baddie baddie shot o'clock. If Johnson don't want y'all. Why y'all coming to Natalie? She don't want y'all. But y'all gave her a viral audition. So I'm gonna give y'all applause. I appreciate everybody who went up to the auditions. Thank y'all. I hope some lucky girl who is starting from the bottom makes it. But I wouldn't audition. Y'all see, I didn't go. I ain't auditioning. We already been on there. They want Scarface back on there. They just got to call me up. Girl. <laughs> girl, Scarface is a mess. Because, girl, who passed away and made you the queen of Zeus? Who passed away and made you the executive producer of Baddies? Girl, I'm not going to play with you, child. Girl, she said, like, <laughs> because why are you trying to burst their bubble, child? If they want to go, let them go. Like, girl, I'm not going to play with you. So, Onomat claims to have gotten into it with DJ Sky. She claims that she had, you know, she had to put the paws on her once again, but it was off camera this time. So, who knows if it's true or not, but let's go ahead and get into her life that she did after the auditions. Like, how you just let me beat you up like that? And it's not even, and I'm such a real, like, no cameras. Like, I just washed her no cameras. She didn't even touch me once. I just had to walk her down real fast, because why are you playing with me, Sky? You want to get on social media, act like you don't know what's going on, act like you don't know about lies, throw in subliminals. But you calling my phone trying to be friends and talking about something. You never said that. You were just saying it was an allegation. Honestly, it wasn't on camera to confirm or deny. But I, I don't know. I kind of believe it at the same time. Because DJ Sky really do seem like the type to just sit there. <laughs> <laughs> to just sit there and get mobbed like i don't know i don't know i believe that it happened it sounds like it happened like i i don't know child but nobody else really came to social media to back it up or confirm or deny nor was it on camera she just said that so i just child i really don't care like <laughs> that's just what it is we're not gonna see it anyway so i we're, girl i don't even know what to do with this tea really but that is all I have for y'all today. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on that post notification bell so you know every single time I post a new video. Girl, it's Messy Maya. It's the Messy Maya. We are lit over here. Trust, I believe that. And yeah, bye.